Hi everyone, this is the husband from Texas Roadrunners. Today I'm going to go over the um, Excel spreadsheet that I used to do our budgeting and our, our money managing. When I was listening to the audiobooks on finances, the part that I struggled with is, is that I didn't have any money left at the end of the month. So how could I possibly pay more on my bills? Uh, there wasn't any money to pay more bills with. And then I decided to take a different approach at it. Most of those, um, most any of those budgeting type programs, they want you to look at every penny you spend. And I didn't I didn't want to do that, and for one, it didn't really seem accurate because if you use your debit card at Walmart for $250, you have, you have no idea what that even purchase even was. Can you maybe name it if it was, you know, something larger? Yeah, if I bought a printer for $200, then yeah, I know where most of it went. But if I was at grocery shopping, and I bought DVDs and, you know, who knows what else, then no, I'm not going to be able to accurately account for that. So instead what I did was I took our income. What you do is you take your income for the month for each person, and you can do each paycheck. So say each person gets paid twice a month. That's going to be four paychecks total. So let's say that we have two different incomes here. And these are our four paychecks. We get paid every two weeks. So we have a total of 3500 Then what I did was I took all my known expenses. These are the bills that I have to pay every month or they're going to come get my stuff or turn out my lights. And I just filled those out. So I, I fill in all of those. Now, this says currently that I have $700 a month that I can't account for. Well, and this is actually a good thing because this means I have 700 extra per month. But at this point, I didn't do my groceries or my gas. The groceries, I, I could not tell how much we actually spent on groceries and how much we spent on other stuff while at the grocery store. And I use the example DVD a lot because they're 20 bucks a piece and we would come home with two or three of them every week. So we, we could spend 20 to $60 a week on DVDs. Now, even at $15 a piece, you spend 30 to $60. And that adds up really fast if you're buying them every week. Uh, let's just say it's, it's two DVDs at $30 times four weeks. That's $120 a, a month. That's significant. So what we decided to do was the wife and I sat down and we basically picked a number um, that she thought she could do per week at the grocery store. And so for this experiment here, we're just going to do $100 a week because we know it has to be less than $6.95 or we run out of money and we want some left over for our budget. So we put in 400 and we gas is a little easier. Like we both go back and forth and we have to fill up every week. It's 20 bucks every time we fill up. So we need just call say we need 140 for fuel. So after we pay all of our bills, we only have $155 left over, which isn't much, but we didn't think we had any. Now we have some. So now we can take this and start to work on our snowball. 
and that's where things really start to come together. That'll be the next part of the budget worksheet. So let's take a look at that next.